Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste test, what's for dinner, grocery hauls, and recipes. And so we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with these Johnsonville Grillers. I've been wanting to try them for a while and I finally found them on sale, so I grabbed them. I'll make sure to link the grocery haul where I found them um, in the description box. I found them at Kroger. So Howard grilled out these Steakhouse Onion Burgers and they are made with pork and we tasted them and they are very good. So this is my plate. Um, and so added cheese to it and then Howard grilled my bun. I love my bun grilled. And then we are having some um, Doritos Salsa Verde. Here is what the bag looks like. It's a big bag and we're just splitting it. And then this is Howard's plate. He is having his with avocado ketchup. He does not like a grilled bun. And then here are his chips as well. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, we are having pizza again tonight. It seems to have become a weekly trend, but this time we are having Papa John's, which is not something we normally have because um, Little Caesars is closer to us, but I was craving Papa John's, so here it is, a medium one topping pizza with sausage. And we are also having some cheese bread. They are having a special now where you can pick any two menu items for $6 each. So this is what we are having. All right, so this is our dinner tonight. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled out some ribeye steaks. And here they are, they look delicious. Can't wait to try them. And then he also grilled some corn. And there's our corn. And then I made some potatoes in the air fryer. All I did was scrub the skin, then I rubbed a little bit of grapeseed oil on them, and then I um, um, put the, some kosher salt on them, and I baked them in the air fryer for about 50 minutes, or until, you know, cook them till they're fork tender. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having chicken salad sandwiches. So the buns we are using, um, these are leftover from the other day when we had those Johnsonville um, like patties. So these are leftover, I put them in the fridge, and what I did was I grilled my little buns in the skillet with some butter top and bottom, and then I added the chicken salad. And the chicken salad is, um, we had a gathering the other day and I made chicken salad for that event. We had a little bit left over, so we're having these chicken salad sandwiches, and then we are also having these steak fries um, from Red Robin, here they are. The seasoned steak fries. I do like Red Robin steak fries. So anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight quick, simple meal. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having General Tso's chicken. Here it is. And this is something new for us. We've never tried this flavor. We've had Innovation before, but not the General Tso's chicken. It was really easy to make. All you do is pan fry the chicken, and then you add the sauce. Now, you can also bake the chicken, but I just wanted the crunchiness. So we're having that and served, um, I'm serving it on top of jasmine rice. And then another new thing that we are trying tonight is the pork lumpia spring rolls. I got these at Kroger and it has a savory filling and they have a little bit of a kick. There it is, uh, chili garlic sauce. So we both just tried the, um, the lumpia and we just thought it was okay. I mean, I definitely don't think I would purchase it again. Um, the inside it has a good flavor, but the inside is very, very mushy. So wasn't crazy about that and actually Howard wasn't either so I won't be buying those again but this is what we're having for dinner and we'll see you guys next time